Welcome back to the fourth quarter. This game is brought to you by Warren Clinic and Hanover Hospital. Free Area Medical Center, Wilbur and Fun Medical Clinic, Smith Auto in Pawnee City, learn more at smithautoindy.com. Tim Hartley with Hebron Tree Service, Norris Pub Power District, and Beatrice Community Hospital and Health Center. All right, so eight minutes for Hanover to remain undefeated if they can hold this 22-point lead. And here's Tanner Bruna driving it inside, and Connor Oldie looks like he blocked it, but they'll call him, a fo- call him for a foul. That's his fourth. Oh, man, I think they got to keep Connor Oldie in the game at this point. Yeah, Might as well. I mean, I hate to say it, but it's nothing to lose. I mean, yeah. it's not going to hurt you. First shot good from the line for Tanner Bruna, who's got seven points off the bench. What a game for him. Feels like Connor Oldie, he's taking at least every other shot. I mean. Yeah, he's taking a lot of shots. Second shot off the mark for Bruna. The rebound's fought for. They're going to call it jump ball between Key Gaffer and Gavin Turk. And Key Gaffer is smiling at, about that one. Because he just, I I guess he thinks it's funny just to kind of make a jump ball at that situation when there was no not a foul. Yeah, when there was no chance to get a jump ball and he still made it happen. There's a nice layup. There's the foul inside. I really do like Key Kafer's play. He's really, really a good freshman. I mean, had a great game against Thayer Central. Locked up Sam Sauerdyke in that fourth quarter. Led the team in scoring, and here he still leads the team in scoring today. First free throw, no good for Noah Thalman from the line, short. As this game is brought to you by Warren Clinic and Hanover Hospital, Lamo Plumbing and Beatrice, Miller Seals and Claytonia, Riverside Chevrolet and Fairbury, Jefferson Community Health and Life in Fairbury, and Members Own Credit Union and Beatrice and Lincoln. Second free throw, no good. Offensive board by the Bulldogs. They find the cutter with Gabe Turk back outside of Gavin Turk. Nice cut. Connor Oldie floats it in right underneath the basket. He's up to 11 points, leads the team. 7-17 to go, 47-26. Here's Garrett Martin. Pass for Key Kafer. They call a foul. It's going to go on Thalman. And he does not like the call. And to be fair, there's been a lot more fouls in this game called off the, or rather, not under the basket on Lynn. A lot of the fouls that Hanover's gotten have been right under the basket when they've contested shots. A lot of shots, a lot of non-contest fouls on Lynn in this game. So here's Bikeman. Has to make a move. Kicks it back out top. Brigham Bruna. Kicks it over to Bikeman. Goes from right to left. Kicks it back to the top of the key for Bruna. Brigham Bruna. Goes inside. Back out Bikeman. Passes it up. Tanner Bruna inside. The ball movement is pristine. And it finishes with Cameron Juniman getting the layup to go. That ball was passed around probably 15 times on that possession. And there's a reach and foul there by Hunter Kikafer, so he can't force a jump ball once again. 49 to 26. 23 point lead is very comfortable for Hanover. As Lynn brings it around, there's an errant pass stolen away by Hanover. Here comes Garrett Martin. Oh, and he tried to go for the sledgehammer dunk. Instead, it's off the mark. And we're going to call this here. They're going to call this a foul on Lynn on the rebound. It looks like they might. I got excited to see that dunk. Yeah, that was almost a dunk by Garrett Martin. Actually, they're going to call this a foul on Lynn. Or, excuse me, Hanover. That would have been pretty impressive. Third, or fourth foul, by the way, on Hunter Kikafer. So the leading scorer for Hanover might have to be a little more careful with some of the fouls he picks up. He did he did foul out, by the way, in that Thayer Central game, guarding Sam Sauerdyke. Swing pass across, caught by Gabe Turk. Inside, Connor Oldie, floater. He gets unlucky and cannot hit. That's about as unlucky as you can get. The way that ball bounced on the rim, it's no good. All night like that. Yeah. Here's Tanner Bruno. What a game for him. Seven points. And he's fouled inside. Oh, man. There's a lot of reaching. A, a lot of reaching in being done by Lynn it's here just, in this fourth quarter. It's not clean. I mean, it's pretty obvious. It's not like he'd make the ref's job real difficult either. Third foul on Gabe Turk. I mean, you can just tell Lynn's trying to go for the steals here. To try and desperately get themselves back in this one. 
Key Kafer, Tanner Bruno in the corner, makes a move, stops his dribble. Nice pass inside to Bikeman, and he's fouled down low. I wonder how many fouls Lynn has committed in this game. Because Hanover this season usually commits only 15 foul, fouls per game overall. I think they're over that mark too. Yeah. First free throw shot good for Bikeman. Ten points for him, 50-26 Hanover. Like I said, your deck is coming up next week starting on Monday, going through Saturday, right here on Old Red from Beatrice. And then in the next game we'll have a doubleheader between Crete and Seward on the 16th of January. Second shot from the line, good for Bikeman. Five and a half to play in the fourth. It's nearly a 30-point lead for the Hanover Wildcats. Connor Oldie, free throw line jumper. Got it. Connor Oldie has been a big bright spot for Lynn tonight. Finally gets some double digits. Yep. Nice move by Martin. Gives it up to Tanner Bruna. There's a travel on Tanner Bruna. So a turnover, and at this point, so we're going to see a timeout call here by Michael Volker. At this point in the game, if you're Hanover, you just got to make sure to play as though it's a close game so that you're prepared in the future. 51-28, Hanover in the lead over Lynn. 5-18 to go in the fourth. We'll be back after this on All Red. Need financing for private machinery, farm equipment, trucks, trailers, RVs, ATVs, or other expensive items? Visit GoCurrency.com for details. Well, speaking of visiting... Hanover will be visiting Frankfurt and then Axel in their next two games. Meanwhile, for Lynn, they will have a fun time playing a couple home games as they'll play Centralia and Blue Valley. For Lynn, if they lose this game to Hanover, it'd be their third straight loss after starting the year 3-0. and And that's just a tough way to uh, move to 500 on the season. Could be a blowout loss to one of their rivals in Hanover. So on defense now for the Wildcats, leading by tw- uh, 23. Nice speed down low. And yep, Gavin Turk with a nice bucket. Lynn's been really underrated tonight on their pass team, and they've had good looks. Yeah, that was just a nice pass to Turk in the post, and he got it off glass. Bikeman drives it inside. Baseline move there for Barons, and he tried to pass it up, but ended up throwing it out of bounds on the baseline. A turnover for Lynn. Or excuse me, Hanover. But the turnover forced for Lynn is how they get back in this game if they even still have a chance, trailing by 21. Pass up top to Connor Oldie. It's a reach and foul. It's going to go on Cameron Juniman. I think that's his fifth as he's walking off oh, like it. I think it's Garrett Martin. I think it is Garrett Martin, which would be his fifth, like Dave said. Yep. Thank so you. Garrett Martin. <laughs> yeah, you're very smart. You're, you're always on top of things. I appreciate yeah, I know. That. As Garrett Martin finishes the game, fouling out with six points. So solid game for him. We'll see Patrick Cook check in. Inbound from the sideline, throwing it in to Gavin Turk. Back over to Connor Oldie. Down in the corner, that pass is deflected, and out of bounds off of Lynn as that pass down low. To Noah Thalman could not be reached. So 4.40 to go in the fourth. I mean, I think this game might be all but wrapped up, but I think Lynn would just want to limit the turnovers and get some more points on the board before this one ends, even if they still do lose. As here's a pass to Juniman, back up top. Three-pointer for Bikeman, cannot hit. Rebound's fought for, and then the rebound comes down for Cameron Juniman. Bikeman at the top of the key. Swings it around. Juniman in the corner, back up top. There's Bikeman, giving it up. There's a shot, Tanner Bruna, can't hit it. Rebounded by Connor Oldie under the basket. Four minutes to play. Quickly up ahead here to Noah Thalman. Nice pass down low. Spin move at the low block. Kicking it back to the top of the key. Connor Oldie, free throw line jumper, short. If he can hit some more of those shots, though, this could be a completely different ball game. So he's got to keep, keep his head high. Pass down low into the paint. Spin move. Hook shot by Patrick Cook. Goes in. Floater. Did not touch glass. Only net. Smooth. Yeah. 53-30. Smooth. Almost like kind of the opposite uh, description of this game, to be fair. As a foul up top at the top of the key, might just it it will send Lynn into the bonus. But 
yeah, like I said, I mean, this game has been all but smooth. A ton of turnovers, a ton of silly fouls, and just can't have that happen down the stretch. Connor Oldie from the line hits the first one. Substitution here. We see Hunter Key Kayford check into the game with four fouls, but he still leads the team in scoring with 12 points. Brant Bikeman's right behind him with 10, or excuse me, 11. Second shot won't go for Oldie, so one for two from the free throw line. Here comes Bikeman ahead. Quick pass to the corner. Barons launches a three. Cannot hit. Nice rebound by Ethan Bott, who has been really good with rebounds. Long pass up ahead. Noah Thalman, Euro step off glass. Can't hit. Rebounds fought for. And they call a foul on Thalman. And I'm a completely neutral observer, Dave. But some of these rebounds should not be foul calls. I'm just saying. It just seems like the ref is not letting the players fight for the rebound. Yeah, I mean, some of them are a little quick, but, I mean, for the most part, I will say that this is a pretty physical game overall, yeah. so they, they probably feel the tendency to call those. Yeah. First shot for Patrick Cook from the line is good. I think with it also being kind of a rivalry game, they probably want to make sure this game is kept in check and not get getting too physical. Fourth foul, by the way, on Thalman. And it coming in is Dylan Oldie. Checking out is Connor Oldie. Might just head to the bench for the final time tonight if they decide to rest him. Second shot from the line is good for Patrick Cook. He's up to six points. And Patrick Cook checks out of the game with a six-point performance. Really good game for him. And in comes Kedrick Kohorst. Also plays in the junior varsity game. Saw him playing during that one. Which Lynn actually ended up winning the JV game earlier. I don't think the same result will hold here in the varsity. Here's Dylan Oldie at the free throw line. Passing it out top to Gavin Turk. Turk goes inside, back out, Ethan Bott. Beyond that three-point line, guarded by Cohorst off the bench. Swing pass around, Gavin Turk, nice drive inside, and he got tripped and fouled by Dean Luppin, who also came off the bench as a, as a senior. One foul on him. Two shots coming up here for Gavin Turk. 2.53 to play in the fourth. 55-31 Hanover. As here's the first shot for Gavin Turk from the line. And that one, no good. Well, I think it's safe to say, Dave, I don't want to spoil the pain of the game. But the really one of the many reasons why Lynn is trailing right now is those missed free throws. Yeah, I mean... It's a 24-point ball, ball game, but, oh. I mean, it, it definitely cuts it down a little bit. Yeah, you just missed the second one, too. 0 for 2. It's If they make these free throws, it's a completely different game, you feel. Maybe not a single-digit game, but at least not a 24-point game. As they work it around to Barons, here's Cohorst. Back to Barons. Drives it inside. Hops up. Key Kafer in the corner. Pump fakes. Goes inside. Lost the ball. And nice steal there for Gavin Turk. So two and a half minutes left, 24-point game. All this is academic at this point. But you cannot be upset with the performance by Lynn in terms of how hard they play. Here's a three-pointer short by Zach Hilton. Rebound in the corner by Juniman. Outlet pass to Barons. Barons ahead. Spin move. Kicking it back out. Key Kafer, he can hit these. Pump fakes, though. Gets a down low to Barons with his left hand on the low block. Hits the shot. Barons is up to six points. 57-31. I don't think Hanover's going to make their 69.8 point per game total this season tonight, but they certainly have played great defense to hold Lynn to only 31 points at the moment. Nice drive inside on the baseline, finishing it off as Ethan Bott, and he hits the layup. 57-33. Kick Hafer open in the corner for three. That was a long shot. Rebounds taken by Thalman. Trying to run the floor. And the pass too far ahead of Dylan Oldie and another Lynn turnover. The story of the game tonight for the Bulldogs. Some substitutions for Lynn. Grayson Oldie comes in. So does Will Olson. Solid performance at the end of the day by Ethan Bott, who finishes with nine points. 120 to play in the fourth. Key Kafer. Here's Luke Luppin. 
That pass by Luppin intended for Juniman. Miscommunication goes out of bounds to turnover for Hanover. Some more substitutions for the Wildcats. Aiden Olgeen, or Olgeen, excuse me, comes in. And also, Braden Schwartz comes in. Schwartz is a junior, Olgeen is a senior. Coming off the bench with 1-10 to play in the fourth. And Hanover is going to move to 6-0 this season. What a se start to the season so far for the Wildcats. And know their game. Their win against their Central was not a fluke. They are the real deal this year. As that pass by Olgeen is a backcourt violation with 56 seconds to go. And, I mean, I get it. The second, the non-starters are in, but you got to limit the turnovers. That's good. That's good. I mean, we, we're going to have to come up with something different for the pain of the game because the turnovers is the most obvious one. So many turnovers in this game by both teams. As we see Keek Hafer foul Thalman at the half-court line. That's his fifth. So Keek, Hunter Keek Hafer fouls out of the game with a phenomenal performance. 12 points for him. Currently leads the team. He's just a freshman, by the way. He is really, really good. But two free throws coming up here for Noah Thalman. Hanover's got a bright future with, oh, yeah. with these freshmen. Yeah, super bright future. Two shots for Thalman. First one's good. Thalman also just a sophomore. A lot of sophomores and freshmen on Lynn, too. So both of these teams kind of have a bright future. Should have some great rivalry games when these underclassmen become seniors at some point in the next few years. Second free throw won't go for Thalman. Nice rebound, though, by Olgeen. With 45 seconds left, Hanover can essentially finish the job here. Olgeen drives baseline, and he's fouled. Foul down low by Will Olson. And that will extend the game and send Olgeen to the line. Olgeen this season for Hanover. Does, doesn't have too much playing time. But he hits the first free throw. And the Hanover bench loves it. Aiden Olgeen trying to make it two for two from the line. And he's short on the second shot. And there's a reach and foul on the rebound by Loop by Luppin. And you wonder how much longer these 36 seconds will last. Well, As we'll get minute, two more free throws. <laughs> we'll get two more free throws here. Over under two minutes. What would you take? Uh under. I'll take the under. I'll, I'll, I'll take the over. 921 right now. All right, 923 is the time to see if this game's over by then. And here's the first shot. It's short on the first free throw by Thalman. 36.3. Odds are there won't be a foul once this shot is taken. Oh, he actually he just put up the free throw. Uh, like he was trying to get the, his own rebound. I mean, put it hard the off the backboard, but I think he went too early. Yeah. So jump the gun. Yeah, 58-34 will be the final score most likely, unless there's another foul. Nice drive inside, kick back out. Here's Barons trying to go down low, and there's a steal. With 30 seconds left. Nice steal there inside by Grayson Oldie. Quick pass ahead, three pointer on the way. That one might have been deflected and no good. Rebound by Grayson Oldie. Off glass, can't finish. It's fought for. Oldie gives it out. Thalman launches a three. No good. Rebound inside. Not finished off by Dylan Oldie. And Hanover gets the board. And here comes Hayden Barons. And now with five seconds left. That will do it as Barons runs the clock to zero. Time, 9.22. So Dave wins with the under. The final score is 58-34. We'll be back for our postgame after this on Ulrich. 